Hello and welcome. This is Martin from Cyber51. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, something called the Tor browser and a bit about the Tor network and what it's all about. So basically, um, let's start off with the basics. If, you, if I go to a normal web browser like Conqueror, for example, or you know Chrome or Firefox or whatever it is, and if I go to a website called what is my IP address? Dot com. So if I go to this website, what I see is um, basically um, my IP address, which my service provider has assigned me. So here you can see my IP address in this case, and um, Cablevision, um, that's the, the service provider uh, here in Mexico. And so it's, it's giving you inf inf information um, about your service provider, about your public IP address, um, which makes you obviously trackable, which makes you subject to uh, internet filtering based on the government laws in the respective countries. So let me give you an example. If you're in Germany, for example, um, the, most of the YouTube videos, like the music videos, are banned by German regulation, copyright, and yada, yada, yada. Um, so uh, basically, uh, the, the Tor network, what I'm going to show you now, lets you change your IP address and you basically become anonymous. Um, so uh, I'm going to demonstrate that, how that works. So first of all, um, if we open another window here and we go to something or we, we use Google here and say Tor Project, and then you simply go to the Tor Project website, so um, around here, and then you can download the Tor bundle package, which you then have to install. So it exists for Mac, it exists for various different operating systems. And once you've done that, um, you basically can launch it. Now, what I'm going to show you is I launched the Tor browser. So Tor browser is being launched after it's installed, and then it's connecting you to the so-called Tor network. Um, beauty about it is that, first of all, it's, it's changing your IP address. Um, your traffic is pretty much encrypted. It's uh, not the traditional hop-by-hop -hop routing. It's slightly different. Uh, I'm not going into details on that because that would fill um, a full day of, of education. Uh, but basically now I'm connected to the Tor network and now something called the Tor browser is, is opening for me. Okay, so uh, see, congratulations, your browser is configured to use Tor and your IP address now appears to be this IP address, so which is different than the one I had before. Let's just verify that quickly. Let's um, also say what is my IP address.com. Okay, so um, you have to have more patience here because um, this uh, obviously takes a lot uh, longer because it's encrypted and it's going halfway through the world and stuff. But here's interesting, right? Like um, I now have an IP address which is registered to an ISP here in Agave Limited, which is in the Russian Federation. So now um, if, if I go browsing on YouTube and surf around and things like that, um, I appear to be coming from a Russian IP address. So which means... Um, if, if I'm using this from Mexico, for example, and let's say there would be regulations in Mexico, uh, which there aren't, but let's assume there would be regulations about which videos, which music videos you can view online, then I would overcome that, okay? Um, uh, the, the original reason for the Tor network, why the Tor network was implemented, um, was uh, it's an open source project, first of all, but more importantly, it's um, a way for people who are in countries where they don't have freedom of speech or for journalists and reporters who travel to certain countries that they can use Tor in order to connect with the rest of the world, send, send emails, uh, exchange information without being tracked by authorities. So that was the original idea. Unfortunately, Tor Network has become a hub for criminal activity and... Uh, which is the downside to it. Uh, we as Cyber51 do not recommend to um, engage in any criminal activity whatsoever. Uh, pure purpose of this video is education uh, on technology, what's out there, what's happening. Um, let me just show you, like for example here, if I go to the bookmarks, you have something uh, called the Tor Links directory. There's also something called the hidden wiki, like the hidden Wikipedia and things like that. Uh, so basically, what you will see is that a lot of the um, URLs here 
are dot onion domains top level domains so dot onion links uh, so you couldn't browse to them from Google, so you can only access them via the Tor network. And then obviously you find like loads of uh, illegal services in here and, you know, like rent a hacker and things like that, fake passports and you name it. Um, we don't recommend to browse to any of those websites. Uh, we just do this for educational purposes only. Um, we just want you to be aware of what's out there and what internet technology does. So also another one is, for example, the Torch. The Torch um, is a search engine similar to Google, which is specifically searching around Onion domains. Um, so it's a Tor search engine on the Tor network. And then you basically can search uh, on the Tor network. Um, so again, um, what has that to do with penetration testing and, and vulnerability assessments and things like that? Well, basically, there's, there's still a lot of companies out there who use, who block based on IP addresses or IP address blocks. And using Tor Network um, lets an attacker quickly overcome that limitation because IP addresses can be changed um, at will. So, for example, if I go to the Tor panel here, and you see here's the Tor panel, and now I simply click request a new identity and all of a sudden I have a complete new identity. So I had an IP address in the Russian Federation earlier. Now let's go uh, back and type in again, what is my IP address.com? And let's have a look what my IP address is now like. See, now I'm with a complete different one, OVH systems. So I've successfully um, changed my IP address and now I have uh, an IP address here in the South and Pacific somewhere. So you see how, how easy that is and how easy um, you can change your IP address. I hope you find uh, this video useful and I look forward to seeing you on more videos which are coming up. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.